The Ikloa Strike update is almost there on the main servers. It will bring along some new tech for everyone, but we can't wait to tell you all about it. So please welcome the crown jewel of the South African ground vehicles, the Oliphant Mark II main battle tank. This tank is based on the British Centurion, but thanks to a thorough modernization, its mid-20th century specs have been upgraded to catch up with its modern counterparts. The two-plane stabilized 105mm gun has elevation angles between minus 10 and plus 18 degrees. The machine, of course, has a coaxial machine gun, thermals, and smoke launchers. The layout is pretty classic, with the driver in the front, three more crew members in the turret, and the rear housing the engine compartment. The ammo stowage is spread out throughout the combat compartment. The main source of the Oliphant's firepower is a top-ranking 105mm APFSDS and the DM-63. That's enough to successfully hit any target at any distance. <laughs> but of course, you have to spot your enemy before you destroy them. That's where your high-resolution thermals come in handy. It's available to both the gunner and the commander at any time. Thanks to a 1000 horsepower diesel engine, this tank can accelerate up to 40-50 km per hour even on soft ground. Not a record by any means, but still a decent result, especially for such a massive machine. Add to that a good reverse speed and smokes, and you get a great combo for a retreat before it gets too hot. Modern electronics, a powerful engine, and cutting-edge rounds are what made the good old Centurion so much better. The only weakness that remained unfixed is armor. Indeed, it has been strengthened, but even a set of additional armor doesn't make it invincible. Moreover, the new turret armor made the already bulky tank simply enormous. Good luck trying to hide this monster in the landscape. Your only hope is for an inexperienced enemy to shoot at the turret's front edge. This way, the round will miss the combat compartment. If you're playing in an urban environment, we recommend you start with one of the central directions. Keep in the second line and destroy enemies one by one. With weak armor, the chance of losing the vehicle after a single hit is high. So, do your best at protecting the tank's hull and ammo storage from being exploded. Now, open hilly maps are where Oliphant performs the best. With binoculars and thermals, you'll spot the enemy faster, while elevation angles will help you hide this elephant behind a hill and only expose the turret for a shot or two.